Hey folks, Paul from Perth Walk and Tour Adventures. Now for those of you that have watched our last video at Julema, um, you'll know that Gary and I went out there not only to have a bit of a play and have some fun, but we were in search of a particular track. And we drove around all day and couldn't find said track. Um, so Gary kind of made it his mission to try and find this track and few helpful hints from some of you guys, so thanks for the messages. And Gary's persistence, surprisingly, Gary found the track. <laughs> and here's a picture to prove it. So, today we are going out to try it. Now he found it about three weeks ago, um, and since then we've been praying for a bit of rain to make it a bit more interesting. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of sick and tired of the dry, dusty tracks and getting the car covered in dust every time we go out. Not that it's a major pain, but every time the car just fiddles up with dust and you got to clean it. So, praying for rain, not only to keep the dust down, but uh, get a bit of mud out there and make it a bit more interesting. So, uh, which we have. We had probably had about 20 odd mils of rain in that three weeks. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be a few little mud holes to play in out there, a bit of slippery stuff. So, at least, hopefully, the dust down. It's currently 7 degrees, 7.30 in the morning, so it's not the warmest, but uh, never mind. The seat heaters are on, so I'm doing alright in here. So, yep, I'm going to meet up with Gary um, and a former work colleague of mine, Baz, who's coming out to join us today. And on the way through Bullsbrook, we're going to pick up Tim from the WK2 Off-Road Community Facebook page. So if you own one of these, and you get out and about regularly, have a look at the page. Um, Tim would be more than happy to accept you into the group, as long as you actually do use the car for what it was built for. But uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to head out there now, we'll pick everybody up, and uh, we should be able to find this track, seeing as Gary now knows where it is. So, alright, cool guys, we'll see you out there. So here we are on Jewel Lamar Road, about to come up to the entrance of the track, and hopefully we won't drive straight past it. Looks like there's a fire up here too. It's a bit black on the left. So, no smoke, so I'll drive it yeah, Good luck with that. Should be coming up on it now. Yeah, this looks like a scene, right? We did it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Gary's quite proud of himself. <laughs> Alright guys, well here we are at the air down area. I'm gonna drop down to about 25 psi. Then we're gonna go and find the track. So these are the cars we got with us today. Baz in his trusty Triton. First time out with us. My sexy beast, the Jeep. Gary in the uh, trusty 79 series and Tim in another sexy looking Jeep. So, alright, gonna air down and uh, alright, we are all air down now and uh, about to go and head up to the track. Now, we're gonna take the same track that we did last time, so uh, I won't film any of that, and uh, we will see you at the first big challenge.
Okay. Here we are. Oh, well, here we are at this amazing hill climb. And before you ask, no, I'm not sponsored by Jim Beam. But if you do own a bottle shop and you want to get on board, Holy crap! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. They're, they're angry down there. That's even bloody worse than uh... Oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful of your footing, mate. So, where, where exactly is the track around it? This this is the chicken that, track that, and. That's the hard one. <laughs> That's the chicken track. All right. Well, there is no way known any of us are going to get down that truck without getting hooked up or causing some serious damage so we're going to go and check out the chicken track which apparently isn't much better but <laughs> we'll see how we go This is the chicken track, so let's go and have a look. It was, uh, yeah, quite, um, Jesus, cut out a bit more since. Chicken track. Chicken track? <coughs> I think that, uh, you know, you know your second track had a shoe track around it? Yeah, that's. The chicken track. I, know, I know which track I'm taking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Right, I'm so not. What, what I'm not afraid to admit. <laughs> that is a lot more what you see is what you get. Yeah. I'll leave you guys to choose your own line. Rock yeah. uh, this is this is a much safer option. See that tree root? See that doesn't leave much. See that's a lot more cut up. When we when we came up here last time, this this wasn't cut up. Yeah, yeah. Geez, that's actually going to be. Yeah, I'm going to miss that. That's going to be. You're going to have to. You're going to have to basically. Mind you, you've got one there too. I, I reckon. What if you come over the top of that? Yeah, I, I diffed out on this yeah. last time. Did you? I smack my rear dip coming up though. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I have my wheel track here, but maybe if it was. Maybe if you got one on here, one on yeah, here, come yeah, over, yeah. come over the top may, of it. You may just. Times like this, so wish I had a rear locker. All right, here comes Gary. First cab off the rank. You're good, mate. That's it. That's it, you're up on the top now. Now right hand down. Follow that line. It's alright, it's just your tie bar.
Yeah, keep going. Right, right hand. That's it. Let it. That's it. Keep coming. Be challenge number two. Let's just walk this. Oh, it's like a creek. Where's there a big hole? <laughs> uh, 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 here! <laughs> oh, I reckon that's easy. All right, that's double easy. Not too easy, but yeah, it's all, all a bit of fun. No, no, I'm just. Need a bit of momentum there, Paul. I think. Come back to the bottom of the hill, Paul. You're not going to get up there, really. Yeah. There you go. That'll do you. Right now, a little bit of right hand down, ride the high line on your right. <laughs> and you're up. Now, turn around and away we go. I need an escape route. I'll just stick my nose up that track there so you can come through. Oh, gee. Yeah, you're good, mate. Keep on that angle. Oops, just rubbing that tree straighten up now. That's good. Nah, it's on your awning, mate.
Yeah, mate, as long as you stay on that angle, as soon as you drop over the edge, straighten up. Yeah, when I drop over the edge, I'll see it. This is very true. Yep, you're good. Same problem as me. <laughs> I'll have to take that high line as well because you're losing traction in the same hole I was. Yep, that'll do it. Yep, you're good. Keep coming, keep coming. Now straighten your wheels up. That's it. No, no. A little bit of left hand down. Okay, keep coming down. You're right. Now straighten up a bit. Should be able to see now. Yeah, good, mate. Straight ahead. When you get right at the bottom, bass, don't be scared to pull it. Take the high line, mate. Take the high line. Easy, like a professional. <laughs> I know I did, didn't I? It's always the first person that shows the rest how to do it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yep, left hand down. Just keep on your left hand down. That's it, all good. Straighten up now. Yep, that's good. Left hand down now. That's it. Just let it slide down, mate. You're right. Nice and slow. <laughs> you always know a man's lost control when the horn goes off. That's a fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> was that was that a toot of celebration or I've lost control of this vehicle? <laughs> that's that's the toot of oops I'm a passenger. <laughs> Alright, well, that was a fun little challenge. <laughs> A couple of very close calls on the trees there, but uh, that was quite interesting. And my excuse was I showed them how not to do it and then how to do it, so that's why I didn't make it up the first time. <laughs> it's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. Okay, onwards to the next challenge. Challenge. All right, it's a bit of a hill climb, but not too bad.
Yeah, it looks alright. You're about to drop off into that hole. Is it enough to push me into this tree? No, I think you'll just go straight down, rear wheel up, I reckon. That's it. Yeah, dead easy. It's down here, but I don't know what's there. <laughs> Let's so follow the wheel ruts down mate, nice and slow. Stay on the line you're on. A little bit of left hand down. That's it, I just follow those nice and slow. Front's about front, right's about to drop into a hole, so nice and slow. Yep, you're in, you're down, okay. Keep going, keep going. You're all good. Back's about to drop down into the same hole. You're down, you're good, mate. Stay on the high side of that rut. On that side? Yep, just straddle that hole in the middle, mate. Ah, oh, okay. So, I'm, uh, I'm going to the left-hand side of it. You're gonna go straight, this wheel here is yep. gonna go straight over that hump there, so see where Gary's tyre tracks are? Follow yeah, them. Just keep rolling mate, I'm out with the radio. Sit right hand down. Straighten up. Straight down there.
tell you what, it was very eerie being out here after a bushfire. And it doesn't seem like anybody's been out here, but I can assure you they have. All right, as you can see, it's even still smoking out here, so avoid the hot bits. <laughs> is as tight and dusty as <laughs> It's a bit like that isn't it? Some berries, as they say. I think we found some mud. That looks like mud. I think I lost my phone out the window. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That looks like 100% bona fide mud. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Oh, glorious. Possibly go wrong, as we say. As we say. <laughs> All right, Gary's going to attempt this one. And if he gets through, I might attempt it. But that's it. That's it. <laughs> that is it. That's about as far as I thought you'd get. I told you I was going to get stuck here, spot. So let me tell, let me guess. You're waiting for mate. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Come on, I just put the Jeep away. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> Twice I've pulled Gary out. <laughs> That's 2-0 to the Jeeps. My turn now. My turn to get stuck. We'll get through. You never know. You never know, unless you give it a go, as they say. Yeah, let's just try some low range. 
Window up, not doing a Graham. <laughs> Give it to us, son. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> That's how you do it! <laughs> It had to happen. I tried to get through it. <laughs> uh, now, trusty mate, the D Max is going to pull me out. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Never mind. Alright, now mate Justin here is going to try this bog hole. None of us have got through it yet. He's, so going, to ride high side and he's, here. he's going to give it a go. So. <coughs> well, no, same spot. <laughs> He's, uh, he's well and truly down. <laughs> Alright, yet yeah, another recovery out of the same bog hole. <laughs> this time it's the Toyota. We're recovering the D-Max. And go. And yep, you're good. Sausages on the barbecue for lunch. So. Gary's doing his usual cooking at the back of the ute with the fag hanging out of his mouth. But very similar to that, they fold down to about this round. Yeah. Obviously, to as long as they are high, they weigh nothing. So I've got enough onions there anyway. lunch done and we've just packed up and about to head off and I think Gary's gonna try this out. I know how it's gonna end. <laughs> See how he goes. Stinks. <laughs> yep. Oh, 
That's <laughs> right. Thanks. Ah. Oh my! <laughs> One more. <laughs> <laughs> and we are off. pretty much it for today's trip just airing up the tyres now so uh, we finally found the track we're looking for and we had a bit of fun in some mud holes so uh, hope you've enjoyed the video as well as much as we enjoyed making it thanks to Justin who uh, came along in his uh, trusty D-Max and pulled me out of a bog hole and had a bit of fun with us as well so uh, good on you Justin um, yeah so just gonna air up and uh, head back home so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and help support the content and we'll see you next time guys cheers <laughs>